everybody um, time for a new tying video uh, it's been a while I think <laughs> almost 200 days or something um, I've been very busy I, I had two jobs working night shift and uh, on an, uh, another one I work early mornings and in between I'm studying at 100% so yeah not really much time over but I, today I thought hey Let's go down and tie a fly and just relax. Uh, since I haven't tied in uh, such a long time, uh, normally I tie every day. Uh, so I'm going to start with a fairly easy pattern. Oh, it's wrong to say easy. Uh, no fly is easy, but, but uh, I'm going to do the Black Ranger. So let's begin. So let's start with the first step, uh, tinsel. So taking some extra small oval, oval silver tinsel attach it to the thread just tying it in Oops. few turns with the tinsel I do four that would be sufficient and then tying in the tinsel forward might be time to get some glasses I'm getting old no, older so I'm just tying it forward to the gates there we are see the wraps then Take the, uh, the ugly or the hard work scissor. Then going back. Mm. 
down here. So I'm going to start with the yellow silk. So I'm tying it in, securing it forward. There we are. So I'm just gonna take my gloves. And we can work with it in the, the, the silk. Oh. We lost out of focus. I'm gonna try to get that back before I do anything else. Let's see if this helps. No, one second. I'm gonna change the lights. that helps yeah I think that's okay still working okay so gloves on again remind me not to change the position of the light always a struggle to find the right spot so Yellow silk, tight wraps backwards. Changing to forward. And there we are, so tying the silk in. Securing it forward as well, a few wraps of thread. Actually I'm gonna go the whole way towards the give it to build up the body a bit with the material i'm gonna have a short break finding a good tail There we are, so we're moving the gloves. Okay, so let's attach the tail. I added some uh, clear uh, wax to the thread. <clears throat> let's 
Let's see how it sits. Looks good to me. Right on top. Straight on the hook. everything in and going back with the thread adding a bit more clear wax then time for the India crew feather back to my black shirt let me just add one second there it is First, the stretch iron. Nice 
this in tight. Since I secured it with a few wraps of the thread, so it should be sufficient. So I'm gonna take a very short break and stopping the video here, changing to my black shirt. I think you will be able to see more. So as you see, much better. Now you can see what I'm doing actually. Sorry for that. Lesson learned. No uh, light shirts in the background. Let's start with the oval silver tinsel first. Sorry, the flat one. Come on. And then a bit more black and wax. Gonna varnish this uh, fly quite quite a lot uh, when I'm tying in the wing. Uh, since it's gonna be in my uh, only cabinet I'm trying to fill that one up it's gonna take if, a year or two but uh, yeah I was in a hurry What we need to do now is to imagine two wraps of flat silver tinsel and there we're tying in black coca can. So I'm just going to double the feathers by pushing one side downwards. Yes, tying everything. The point of can't think too much. There you go. Just adding a few wraps of thread there. It's a little bit thin. Different color silk. Let me see if I have anything. Just to build up the body a bit. I don't, don't like really thin, thin bodies. In my opinion, it doesn't match the fly. But that's my opinion. Your opinion can be something else. That's okay. So let me see what I got. Some gold, gold silk. It's a four strands, or four strand twisted, and each strand it's uh, yeah multiple strands of course. So out of these four, I'm gonna take two.
Saving the other two for another fly. So let's start. So I'm just tying this one in. Few wraps with the thread. Cutting the leftovers. I wish I had I had this one in black as well, but I have it in white and gold. It's better than nothing. So now I'm just gonna make a body as I like it to prepare prepare it for the black silk body. a bit my gloves again. First let me tie in the silk. can see I have a rather big tail but yeah, it's fine it could be shorter but I want wanted to have this uh, flow Slow, just around the the cockle. So if I pull the hackle the other way, it should free up the the part behind, which it did. So now we can speed up a little bit. Richard, then forward again. So, tinsel time. And before I attach the wing, I need to point the hook a bit upwards. It's a little bit downwards now, I think. So, flat silver tinsel. Two wraps. Two 
towards the the cocacula, as you see. So now we have the cocacula in place. And then we are just going to continue forward three, four, five, six ish. the twist sorry then you just follow backwards meaning following the flat silver tin cell and add the twist behind as perfect as possible just behind and there it is so I'm gonna do the hack it here somewhere So, time for the black cockacle. So, I'm just gonna adjust the fibers. You attach it behind the twist. Then the twist and the flat silver tinsel will protect the, the steam. I think it's the steam. I'm not sure about the English word, but uh, yeah, so it does, doesn't break that easy when you fish with a fly. one or two wraps in the front Actually, it states deep blue. Now I got so much light on uh, just to make this video, but this one is, uh, yeah, as you see, good size, blue, uh, good, good color blue, in my opinion. Get loose while you're 
wrapping the front tackle. And just to make sure, I'm gonna cut the leftovers away. I don't want them to be in the way later. There we are. So now we can add the front tackle to the flag. So I just gently push the fiber backwards while wrapping. As you can see. We are securing the hacker. I gently push a little bit downwards. So. I don't do as other people do, wet it and then press it over the night to make sure everything is below. For me that's not important, I like it to be as it is. But I just split it, I don't want too much hackle on the top, interfering with the tying uh, when, when I touch the wing later. So there we are, like that. And you see, I have a clear passage for, for the wing. But still I have, you know, hackle all over the place. It's blue all over the place. I like that. My personal opinion. Okay, so <clears throat> back again, the dog is fed, I pour myself a glass of wine and I prepared some young elk cock feather to tie in. <clears throat> First of all, I need to wax the thread using a black wax. So I'm gonna tie this GC feathers in so I later then can uh, take a break and pair uh, tippet three quarters of their length. I want to have this very long, as you can see. I don't want to have much air in the fly. Ready to rumble. Wing time. Or side of the wing. Since the geese is already there. Waxing the thread first of all. side of me there we go. 
Okay, Could be a little bit shorter. So let's arrange that. Opposite side. One side, the other side, bang on top. So it's gonna wet the fibers from the yeast that is popping up here. Then I'm gonna varnish. I can varnish now actually. Let's varnish. <coughs> Then I'm going to take my time, make sure it dries properly, uh, using the time to find the, the other pair that I want to tie in. Hopefully they're gonna sit as good as this pair are. Quite satisfying. I'm just gonna pull up the yeast a little bit. There we are. Not in any good pointing direction. with it so I'm gonna stop the video for a while until I'm ready for the next step okay so time to attach the last wing piece then of course we have the easy on the side but first of all I'm gonna attach this one I did sheet a bit so this side is all already done and I'm trying to save some time <clears throat> so, first of all, back the thread. The point of sheeting there, right? I never, never, ever use pre wax thread. See, it's it's not the same. It's not gluey. Can get this one in place as we want it. There we are. So gonna take some time just uh, adding some varnish to it let it dry a bit then uh, it's time for the GC I don't want to stress things I want the wing to sit uh, perfect and stay perfect then you don't rush the fly so even if it's not many components in this uh, pattern you know, less, less components is actually harder, but yeah. 
you want it to look nice, right? If anything is wrong, just reset it, redo it. Don't set <coughs> Don't get satisfied with a fly you're not happy with. The flies that is not perfect in up to me, so to say, in my opinion, I put in my own wallet to fish with. But if you're using rare material or blind eye hooks, that's uh, quite a waste of good things, right? So there we are. Okay, time to continue with this black reindeer fly. So, uh, as earlier, I added uh, the yeast on my side. So, let's add it on your side. <clears throat> and you, you want it to reach up to the middle black um, stripe. So, Let's turn the fly and the EC. Well, back spread, of course. Yes, bending it a bit so it fits the curve. I'm doing quite a flat head. Uh, my intention is to add the hurl, the hurl head instead of just the black varnished head, um, just to make it look uh, a bit more interesting. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do at the same time, I'm gonna add the the blue feathers on the side. Um, Blue shatter, but I, I use uh, pita. So I'm just waxing the thread first. There we go. So I start with your side. Just turning the, the fly a bit. centered that's the opposite side I'm quite pleased with it it's okay since I haven't tied flies in the yeah at least proper classic gear yeah, flies in about 180 almost 200 days so I'm going to varnish, uh, prepare the topping and horns, then we're going to do that in the next step and then break and then add the hurl head. New battery added to the camera, so uh, yeah we got plenty of time. Uh, topping time, I prepared one actually. So let, let's attach that one. I'm just gonna back the thread always. Um, some black wax. So I would say, <clears throat> just for your information, uh, I, I think I started three o'clock. So now I'm I spend like at least three hours doing this fly and um, prepare the mater materials in between etc so just to give you an understanding on how much time you should spend on the fly
So let's see if we can get this one in place. Yep. Yep. One is good. I'm happy with it. So a little bit more varnish. do the horns at the same time starting on my side bit longer than the other so pulling that in a bit that's a good height for me <coughs> Little bit high. That's better. As you can see, I'm happy with that. So what I'm gonna do now is set to add varnish. Let it dry. And then they're doing the hard end. Okay. So last step, uh, hurl head. So I prepared the hurl here. So that's gonna tie it in. I wax the thread with the black wax. So.
how it's to dry. Yeah, pardon my language. Find a bit of tread. Way. I don't like how the hurl turns. really feel when you haven't tied in your wine. It's like being back at square one. Not really. Yeah, it's interesting. There we are, we have a herald head. I'm just going to varnish a little bit just to make sure it doesn't. Uh, Break. Just going to secure it with the thread with, with a few uh, knots here and varnish a little bit and then uh, take a picture of the fly and uh, then start to work with the video. So that's basically how you tie a black ranger. Uh, I did the tail a little bit long from the beginning as you can see. If I sh would shorten it then I could have a shorter um, topping and then I would leave a gap in the fly. Um, but, but however um, after such a long time not tying classical flies I'm, I'm quite pleased. So don't shoot me down. Or if you want, please do. So that's basically it for, for to now. Um, I'm gonna start to edit the video. Um, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please do that. I have like 65 other videos just tying classical Selma flies. I have uh, videos about coloring uh, material, preparing material. Uh, I need to make a few more, I think. But, but uh, overall, um, I hope to make a video every second week or third week now um, since I have two jobs and uh, at the same time studying 100% so I have examinations uh, so many every th fourth week and every week I have uh, uh, tests so it's quite a lot uh, it drains my energy a bit, but uh, it's, it's for a, a good purpose and uh, uh, end of May next year I'm done 
I promise you I'm not gonna get any more education. Uh, I already have like seven uh, degrees of different educations, so I think that's enough. Uh, but however, uh, you can never be done teaching how to tie a salmon fly. I just love it. I hope you're gonna enjoy this video. Um, until the next time, stay safe, take care of you. Um, yeah, bye. Pandemonium